So last one, they give us the center, which is 1 comma 4. Um, so that's my HK. Now this one can kind of be a little confusing as well. They give me by value C, but then they give me eccentricity. Now eccentricity isn't on your notes for the hyper. I didn't write it down. But if you guys remember from ellipse, eccentricity is C over A. Yes, it was on your notes from last class. So eccentricity is C equals A. So they're saying the eccentricity is 2, but they're saying that 6 is C. So basically your eccentricity, which is 2, is equal to C, which is 6 over A. So therefore, A has to equal what? 3. So just using a little bit of problem solving there to figure out A is equal to 3. Now we need to figure out B, and we can do that because we have A and we have C, right? Yes? So remember, another thing, like I talked about at last notes, the focal axis is this, it lies on the transverse axis, but it's between the two foci, okay. right? So, yeah, I, I mean, it's not something I want you guys to focus on. That was just the problem. I, it was good for me to like remind you, focal axis is the same as the, or it lies on the transverse axis. Um, so therefore, a squared is equal to 9. If c is equal to 6, then c squared is equal to 36. So let's do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that's 9 plus b squared equals 36. So b squared equals 27. Um, it says it's a horizontal fo focal axis. So again, this is the exact same formula. We're going to keep on doing this. I should have changed that up. Sorry about that. Um, so this will be x minus 1 squared over my a squared, which is 9, minus y minus 4 squared over 27. There you go. Sorry, I should have picked a vertical transverse axis for you guys, at least on one of these, but I didn't catch it. Huh?